Bristol Myers Four Star Playhouse presents Dick Powell, Charles Boyer, David Niven, Ida Lupino. Tonight on Four Star Playhouse, we present Dick Powell in A Study in Panic. Fred. Yeah, boss? I've just finished reading yesterday's column on the fire. Tonight at a fire on the west side, I saw the ugly face of panic. I saw civilized men clawing and smiting their way through women and children to save their own precious skins. What kind of men are these that fear turns into jungle animals? It's pretty strong stuff, Fred. Oh, it's true. That's not the point. Do me a favor, will you, Fred, and leave the fires to our reporters? That's what they get paid for. People are supposed to turn to your column for charm, a few chuckles. A little warm. Okay, okay. Tomorrow night, back to normal. I'll interview Cuddles Laverne, Bubble Dancer Supreme. Do an obituary in the old Globe Theater they're tearing down. A lot of lively things like that. Nothing but chuckles and charm. Well, that's what the people want, Fred. That's what they want, that's what they get. Hey, Curly. Yes, Mr. Jordan? By any chance, did you read my column tonight? Well, no, uh, you see... Uh, oh, I... I see. You never use the stuff, huh? Well, uh, uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I was just wondering if I did go off the deep end. I'm afraid our ever-loving editor isn't too happy. Oh. That makes two of us. Well, well, and who is this? What's that got to do with it? Oh, new proofreader, uh, Ella Graham. Major Applied Psychology, result, girl, iceberg. <laughs> Don't worry about Curly, dear. He's in the difficult years, 14 to 40. Now, what was it you didn't like about my column? I knew your office would be like this. Oh? Sloppy. Oh, be it ever so humble. There's no place like home, I always And I knew you'd be like this. Sloppy man, sloppy office, sloppy mind. You care for a cup of sloppy coffee? No. Where did you learn your psychology? In a gutter. Oh, now, wait a minute. What kind of men are these that fear can turn into jungle animals? What kind of men do you suppose they are? They're men exactly like yourself. No, no, honey. I'm scared of bill collectors, coal germs, outraged proofreaders, and a lot of things. But I can't see myself getting so worried about my own skin that I'd trample women and children. Mice, men, monkeys, and guinea pigs. They all respond to the stimuli of panic in precisely the same way. That, Mr. Jordan, is one of the basic principles of psychology. But of course, you wouldn't know about that. What are you so upset about? Didn't you ask yourself how these men are going to face their families after this column appears? All they did was react just the same as you would in the same situation. Yet you mount a pedestal and stand in judgment of them. I've got a nervous feeling you don't like me. Oh, it infuriates me to think that an untrained, uninformed primitive... Primitive? ...is allowed to write such drivel and get it published. <laughs> well, at least my readers love me. After tonight, they won't. You'll get a hundred letters calling you a maladjusted... Ego sublimated. My readers? A hundred enraged letters. <laughs> well, my readers only get angry if I don't print their corny poems. A hundred letters. I'll bet you a dollar I don't get one. Bet you a dollar. Isn't that typical? Reduce the whole argument to the level of a, of a bookmaker. Oh, and another thing. I was afraid of that. You spell like a two-year-old. It's I before E except after C. Will you try to remember that? Yes, ma'am. I'll get myself a dictionary. Yep, 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 yep. 